Okay guys, today's video is gonna be a quick video on how to make a bioreactor uh, more efficient as far as being able to harvest your compost at the end. And then we're also gonna talk about little adjustments we've made uh, to keep them from going anaerobic. Uh, right now it's January 20, uh, 2022, and we started this journey hearing about the Johnson Sioux bioreactors in February of 2020. And then we made our first one later on that February. And so if you've been watching our YouTube channel, um, this is the journey that we've gone on. Um, and I kind of want to give a, a updates on some of the stuff that we've learned. So these are the first uh, bioreactors that we've, we've used. Um, this one right here uh, has been harvested and we made a new one with it. And... Um, this is the one of the last ones we made in 2020 and it's uh we only were able we only harvested a little bit of compost out of that one but anyway so to make it to where your bioreactor is going to be more efficient um, we had done that double stack method and what we decided to do was rather than adding that extra half layer on there was just cut these bioreactors right here or actually we're cutting them right here and right here and cutting out this middle part and then stacking them together to where you can put um, zip ties around it. So I'll show you on this other one. So you can see that we did that right here on this one. This has a, a layer here onto there and it was up, up to here when we first made it. And so it's, it's about down to here right now as it's broken down. This one was made in August. Um, so that's about what, August, September, October, November, December, January, about uh, six months uh, that this has been breaking down. Um, and so that will allow us to have easy access um, if you wanna come closer. As they break down and we harvest stuff out, it's much easier to get it out of out of this situation than if it was clear up here and you're having to bend over and get the the compost out of it. So that's the first adjustment um, that I wanted to share with you guys that we made to where it's it's just so much easier to access your compost when they're broken down like this as opposed to that right there. The other update that I wanted to give you guys was um, the situation with fixing anaerobic compost. So um, those first ones, most of them went anaerobic. And what we found was um, that we, we didn't know if we were overwatering them. There was also the thought that if, since we were using the feed truck, that we weren't getting enough of the uh, sand and dirt particles out of the compost before we, we used it. And so we tried a bunch of different stuff. We, we made it a new batch um that we didn't run through the the compost or we didn't run through the feed truck and that's this one right here if you want to bring this that over this one is is just straight grass clippings it might be hard to see we'll get a light on this this one this one's all just straight glass grass clippings and this uh went anaerobic as well and um it stunk but now um, we didn't mess with it. We didn't turn it, didn't do anything. But now as it's broken down, it, it, it smells really awesome. It's really good compost. So I'm glad we didn't mess with it so we could kind of learn. Um, I didn't like the fact that it dried out along the edges. We'd only have basically the center of it as, uh, as good compost. Um, but anyway, I, we didn't run this through the feed truck method. We took it through the proper bath but, and it still went anaerobic. So I began to wonder what my actual issue was. And I think what our problem was, was this weed barrier mat on the bottom, I don't know if it's different than the one that, that David Johnson's using, but I don't think it's allowing enough air to come up through the bottom. Even with the pine cones, we laid, put a layer of pine cones on the bottom of these to be able to cause more air to come up through them for them to breathe. And I, I just don't think that that's enough. And so what we did with this newest one, where we did the three layers back here is we lined that pallet with the bottom of that pallet with lath. It's a th thin wood. And then we took a, a five inch uh, wood drill bit 
and we drilled holes every inch on the bottom there so it was just perforated with uh with with holes and then we did not put weed barrier mat down there and we filled up this bioreactor the way we had been with the the, the pipes and everything and we ran to test it i ran it through the feed truck and we didn't give it a proper bath we ran it through the feed truck so it would go faster and this this pile is not turned anaerobic and it's it's been pretty good compost I, I wouldn't say it's as good a quality as the grass one the grass ones broke down really well even though in the middle of it it went it went anaerobic and what i mean by good compost there's you know there's not wood chips or anything like most of that is going to break down into really awesome awesome compost so i think if you're going to do this method and you're going to go through the, with the with the um the feed truck you want to have more you know have enough wood chips in there that the wood chips are going to allow it to breathe um if you're using weed barrier mat and it's like ours that you're getting from the nrcs for windrows and to to cover uh trees and stuff i would not line the bottom pallet with that uh, i've just had too many issues with it and like i said now it looks like this compost is going to be pretty amazing but even with the issues that we've had this is the leftover compost from uh 2020 and you can see that th our, this is really good looking compost here and i mean it's almost two years old now um but it all went anaerobic and was gross and you've seen in my previous videos the things we did to try to fix these and it it worked and part of it is uh, i've got one that went anaerobic and we didn't do anything to it we just let it break down and over time it breaking down and not doing anything to the one it fixed itself and it's like the grass one it fixed itself it, if you pull that out it it looks just like that so um if you go anaerobic don't free, freak out give it time um see what's going on um and and don't give up and then i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gives you an idea of how to break down your layers to where once you're done with your um once you're done uh, with your compost and it's broken down, you can just take those layers off and it makes it easy access to your compost. So hope you enjoyed today's video.